Now, let's fix our delete method as well. So whenever the user delete any student, it should delete the image as well. So let's go to our project students controller and in the destroy method in here before that delete. So let's uh, delete the delete part from the student first fetch the student then after that we will check if the images exist or not so for that i will type a if condition so if dorsal student photo this will check that photo is not null if photo exists in that table or photo part exists in that case we will type storage colon colon disk public so then we will type delete and the image back which we will get from the students table so a student image sorry it's again my bad image now this is done let's add the storage as well so storage and finally we have to delete our Islam so we will say student delete that's it let's go now whenever a user delete the student the image will also be deleted so delete now let's go and in here in our public public storage photos that is image is gone it's deleted let's delete the other image as well so let's delete the this one delete currently we have one two three images so okay deleted now let's go now we only have two images which are these so this is how we can delete the image from our storage